Hello, Tauruses. This is your November. How do they feel about you? What are they thinking about you reading? This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's up, Taurus? With your June, how do they feel about me? Love reading. This is for my lovely Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading. It may not resonate with every Taurus out there. Cross watchers, this very well may play out from your perspective as well, okay? Keep in mind, energies can be reversed, roles can be reversed. Take what applies and leave out what does not. If you like my style and I vibe with you, please like and subscribe. And if we have already vibed and you're in my tribe, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all of your support. So this reading is specific for those who have made a connection with the person. Maybe you're in a relationship, having issues with this person. Maybe there's no communication. Things are just weird. You don't know where you stand. Okay, this is the reading for you. So Spirit, what are the energies surrounding this person that Taurus is inquiring about? How does this person feel? Two of Wands, movement, choices, decisions. Prosperity begins. Beautiful. And Six of Cups. So a lot of you, um, Two of Wands, this is about balancing your priorities, getting your affairs in order, and you know making a decision to become independent or to leave home. So again, I feel like a lot of you are going to take that chance you're going to take that risk and it's going to pay off because you're going to be able to establish roots um ace of pentacles is beautiful there will be a lot of things that will come into fruition for you and i feel like you might have to leave behind you know your friends your family memories of love but it's okay because you will be able to be in a much better place and i feel like in time um you will learn to adapt and you know not be so homesick all right Tell me more, please. Why the Two of Wands and the Queen of Cups? So, the Queen of Cups, you know, this could be your energy. Um, you could be in a very... Yeah, see, I feel like you just haven't been feeling yourself because it is in reverse. Um, you've been feeling like you're not happy. You haven't put yourself first in a really long time. Um, you know, you've been a martyr. So, essentially, I feel like You've kind of been making sacrifices around you to make other people happy. You know, two of pentacles, two of wands. You feel kind of unsure. You're in like a a wishy-washy phase. You go back and forth about maybe make, taking a big risk in your life. And I feel like now you're taking this leap of faith. But after, after the turbulence, after things start to calm down, all right? And... There's no more going back and forth. It's going to be certainty. Why the Ace of Pentacles, please? And the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, please. Yeah, see, things have kind of been stagnant for you. <clears throat> and because of that, you've been really avoiding um, going on this long journey. I feel like... You've been avoiding going after what what it is that you really want. You've been playing it safe because things have kind of gone stagnant. You know, maybe job offers or news have been stagnant. So for the longest time, you've been avoiding going after your Nine of Cups. When someone is on their Eight of Cups journey, they're seeking out their Nine of Cups. They're seeking out happiness, fulfillment, um, you know, everything that they've desired. And I feel like for so long, you've been avoiding this. And now it's time to just really embark on what it is that your heart desires okay why the six of cups please why the six of cups please six of cups please yeah see you're gonna leave behind the past and go after what it is that you really want something that you um will be passionate about something that you desire okay and i feel like it's it's gonna be like I feel like it's going to be a different environment with the three of swords here. This is about heartache and loss. So you're going to, you're going to have a new beginning, something that you really want, but it's going to be a little bit of a sacrifice for you. Okay. Because you're going to have to leave behind the past, but I feel like in no time you will overcome. Okay. This is something that you'll definitely be able to overcome. Um, it will just be a little sensitive for you initially. All right.
Okay, it says the trickster. Deceit, betrayal, and gill. Okay, what else? Ooh, this deck is so beautiful, you guys. Ooh, it's the fairy force. I love it. I never use it that much, though, and that's why it's so stiff. And then it says Friga. Readiness, bounty, plenty. And let's go ahead and pull one more. It says blood month, sacrifice, offering, decision. All right, so that's what I, I feel like you guys are going to get an offer. And it's like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a sacrifice with that three of swords there. It's going to be a change. It's going to be like some sort of loss. <clears throat> and I feel like with the readiness here and bounty, you know, get ready because the bounty that you want, you will seek out plenty. The only thing here is with the trickster, I feel like there might be someone coming in the way. So if you feel like someone is only using you for their own gain or someone is only like if you you'll know what I'm talking about. This is someone who will seem kind of off or too good to be true or trying to hold you back from further yourself. Don't be deceived by this person. This is someone who maybe doesn't have the best intentions for you. You know, someone who could possibly betray you. Or just want you to not go after your dream so that they feel better about themselves. All right. So this is someone that you'll have to sacrifice from your life. Um, I do feel that you have a decision to make and it's going to be a big change. But it's going to bring in the bounty that you seek. Okay. So that's a good thing. Okay. So options just showed itself to me. So again, you're going to have different options. Some of you might get two different offers, whether it be in love or job. Trust. Or it says, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. Heart desires. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. So a lot of you just trust and believe. Um, trust your feelings. And a lot of you are going to have to let go. So... Go after your heart's desires. Trust your intuition to guide you on what path you need to be, whether it's career or in love, and let go. Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. All right. So some of you just need a change of scenery, um, fresh air. And no matter what decision you make on this long journey, the angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. Okay. And it's like the long road ahead is really when I'm getting the long road ahead. Okay, it says waiting. Yeah, see, I feel like you've always, you've been putting yourself on the back burner. A lot of you were waiting for something, um, waiting for a reunion with the person. But you can't put your life on hold, okay? You can't put your life on hold because it's like, it's time to let go and trust your intuition and go after your true heart desire, all right? One more, please. Yeah, never put your life on hold for a person because when you do that, you just imprison yourself. All right. Um, a couple of you could be waiting for someone to get out of prison, but remember that you're not in prison and you need to make sure that you go after your dreams. Okay. You can't wait for someone. You can't put your goals on hold for someone. Like I say all the time, your degree, your savings account, they won't cheat on you. So do you first. All right. Do you first. All right, so let's go ahead and get some more messages for you guys. It says, put the fucking phone down. <laughs> I love it. I love that. And you know people who just like live on their phone? Um, put it down and just live life. Um, and it says, you look like a shit show and you're the shit. So that's kind of funny. It's like dual messages here. But it says, put the fucking phone down. It says, too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Yeah, and go out and experience life. Um, you know, you guys have a long road ahead. I feel like this, this long road ahead is to close out a cycle for you to embark on a new chapter in your life. Um, it says, you look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Fat, clean yourself up. A lot of you just need to get out, take that, foot, that first step forward and live your life because you have more potential than you know with you're the shit um you're the shit don't forget it so just remember who you are and don't let anyone get you down whether this be the trickster 
you know, don't let anyone imprison you or make you feel bound to a situation. It's time to let go and trust that you can obtain your heart's desire. Um, you know, you have good news, but it's just, it's, it's from this journey that comes good news and you really just have to let go because once you let go, the messenger comes in, this eagle comes in and it might take another couple of weeks, but again, it's going to be good news. It could be something that you've been waiting to hear, whether it's health related, um, you know, it says doctor, publisher, bank, lawyer, soulmate, real estate, you know, selling your house, getting the offer accepted on your house, you know, have faith. Um, it's coming in. It's just right now we are in turbulent times. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and get some more messages. It says, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. And this is beautiful. This is just letting you know that, you know, you can be right now and plan for your future. Always think of the future or what it is that you want to be to bring in, to manifest, to create, um, everything is possible. It just, it just starts with us making the mental decision to accept it and believing it. And so that we can manifest our, our future. Ooh. Okay. It says, have patience, love is patient and kind, always beautiful. So a lot of you might feel like you're not where you want to be in love or why haven't you found the right person or why things are just not working for you right now and spirit saying just be patient you know sometimes things don't happen for a reason because when you focus on love family finances health career when you focus on one or two of those things you might potentially neglect another area in your life so just realize that everything happens in a reason for a reason and in order that they're meant to be because maybe you haven't found love because there's something else that you need to situate you know it looks like you guys definitely need to improve something in your life whether it's finances or career and so if you were to add someone into your life now when your own foundation is not set then that could be setting up a, an amazing connection for failure. All right. So it's, it's about letting everything fall into place. All right. Okay. And it says miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Beautiful. Everything definitely does have its gift. Um, you know, miracles and blessings are true and, <laughs> It's almost like something's going to happen to you that's going to seem like a miracle or a blessing, but it's something that you deserve. It's definitely something that you deserve after all the turbulence that you've gone through. So just be patient, all right, and get out and experience life more, you know, trust and believe in yourself. Remember who you are with your the shit. Time to let go of people who you've been putting your life on hold for, and it's time to start your journey, okay? Okay. 